We always arrange our trucks like this, and no crane has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now. No crane has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now. Cranes are airy-fairy things. They need a lot of attention, like me, in fact. Cranes are airy-fairy things. They need a lot of attention, like me, in fact. Ah! Ah! Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything, I shall complain whenever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything, I shall complain whenever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. Sick me never. Sick me never. Help me, please. Help me, please. All right, then. Allsdale End, said Percy. That's my home, replied Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here saying I'm silly. Good night. All right, then. Arsdale End. That's my home, replied Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here saying I'm silly. Good night. Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap indeed. Buffer him, Bert. Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap indeed. Buffer him, Bert. Bye-bye, Stepney, said the Diesel. Bye-bye, Stepney. <laughs> this engine's not for scrapping, shouted Stepney. This engine's not for scrapping. Help, cried James. Oh, help, cried James. Be quiet. Be quiet. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty, moonlit night. As the engine crossed the old iron bridge, he suddenly lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty, moonlit night. Suddenly, the engine lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. He was never found again. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home, but he never reaches the other side. He was never found again. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home, but he never reaches the other side. Haunted Bridge, pa, snorted Duncan. It's as tame as a pet rabbit. Haunted Bridge, rubbish, snorted Duncan. It's as tame as a pet rabbit. It's the ghost. Take me back, take me back, please. It's the ghost. Take me back, take me back, please. No, well, Duncan, I'm asleep. No, I'm asleep. Oh, no! It's behind us! Oh, no! It's behind us! Yikes! Yikes! Help! Hurry! Oh, no! It's heading straight for me! Oh, no! Heading straight for me! Squeaked Percy. Break it! Snap it! Shouted the trucks. Break it! Snap it! Shouted the freight cars. Help! Help! We heaved until the old freighter finally caught a tide. Ah, it's good to be useful. We heaved until the old freighter finally caught the tide. Ah, it's good to be useful. Where have you been? Snapped Cranky. Hurry up! Barked Cranky. I haven't got all day. You wouldn't be fun if you were stuck up here! Snapped Cranky. Where have you been? Snapped Cranky. Hurry up! Snapped Cranky. I haven't got all day. You wouldn't be fun if you were stuck up here, snapped Cranky. Oh, please, Salty, they chimed. We haven't heard it. Oh, please, Salty, they chimed. We haven't heard it. It was a bitter cold winter. The brave little ship was stuck until the ice melted the next spring. It was a bitter cold winter. The brave little ship was stuck until the ice melted the next spring. Stop being pushy, Donald snapped. Don't call me pushy. Douglas snapped back. You shouldn't have pushed me into the cart, huffed Donald. You pulled me, you mean, argued Douglas. 
Didn't he? Did. Did, no. Did, too. Stop being pushy, Donald snapped. Don't call me pushy, Douglas snapped back. You shouldn't have pushed me into the cart, huffed Donald. You pulled me, you mean, argued Douglas. Didn't. Did. Did not. Did, too. This made Diesel very cross. He pulled... And he pulled... And he pulled... And he pulled... Help! This made Diesel very cross. He pulled... And he pulled... And he pulled... The engine said, all shivering a little. Ooh, ah, spooky, the engine said, all shivering a little. The ghost engine is after me. The ghost engine is after me. Help, cried Percy, I'm not a truck. But no one heard him. Help, cried Percy. Percy was hoisted up. Hello, J J James, muttered Percy icily. Scary Jack Frost, cried James, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. Hello, J J J James, muttered Percy icily. Scary Jack Frost, cried James, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. Clickety clack, don't look back, dirty Percy's on our track. Be quiet, Percy snapped. Clickety clack. Don't look back. Dirty Percy's on our track. Be quiet, Percy snapped. His driver applied the brakes, but Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh, no! Hooted Percy. Yuck! He groaned. I've never been this dirty. His driver applied the brakes, but Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh, no! Hooted Percy. He groaned. I've never been this dirty. We're twins. We do everything together. But you don't need new buffers, Ben teased. You're only getting new buffers because you're clumsy, snorted Bill enviously. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Will you two stop being grouchy? We're twins. We do everything together. But you don't need new buffers, Ben teased. You're only getting new buffers because you're so clumsy, snorted Bill enviously. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Will you two stop being crab pots? Before you get new buffers, the fat controller continued, I want you to think about what it means to be a responsible, reliable engine. Before you get new buffers, Sir Topham had continued. I want you to think about what it means to be a responsible, reliable engine. He won't choose Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy. He chuffed crossly and he wished away. He won't choose Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy. He chuffed crossly and he wished away. When Alicia Botty screamed. <whistles> and she screamed. And she screamed, and she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. Definitely a coloratura, said Gordon. A mouse! Alicia Body screamed. And she screamed, and she screamed, and she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. Definitely a coloratura, said Gordon. I can't uh, possibly travel in a coach that riddled with the mice. I can't possibly travel in coaches riddled with mice. I can't take any more.